You guys have heard of Power Rangers and maybe even Masked Rider. Well, the free TV film streaming service Shout Factory is bringing a bunch of Japanese superhero shows like Kamen Rider, Ultraman, and Super Sentai to the U.S. through their new English language streaming service called Tokushoutsu. A lot of the shows on Tokushoutsu, I'm going to be very honest, I've never even seen before. But feeling a little bit nostalgic after checking it out, I decided to take a closer look and a look back at some of the other tokusatsu shows that made their way overseas here to us back in the late 90s and early 2000s. Together they transform into the Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad. Superhuman Samurai. Now I love alliteration and Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad spoke to that side of my psyche. See? This show was an adaptation of the Japanese tokusatsu show Gridman the Hyper Agent. Now, the show starred Matthew Lawrence as Servo, where along with Team Samurai, he'd venture into the digital world to defeat viruses. Yes, this show was like a Digimon in tokusatsu form, minus, you know, the cute little digital monsters, of course. And so the alliteration continues with Big Bad Beetleborgs. Big Bad Beetleborgs leaned more on this side of comedy with B-grade versions of Frankenstein, The Mummy, Dracula, The Wolfman, and other universal monster copies that occupy the haunted Hillhurst Mansion. This is where our kid heroes find a friendly ghost that grants them the wish of being superheroes. Thus, the Beetleborgs are born! The show used fight footage from the Metal Hero Tokusatsu series Juko B-Fighter for the first season and B-Fighter Kabuto for the second. I just remember it being so off because when they became heroes, it was as if these little kids had a sudden growth spurt. Yeah, that's kind of weird, but you know what? It was good and funny. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are. I don't know where I was for this, but apparently there was a fascination with virtual reality in the mid 90s. So VR Troopers was Saban Entertainment's attempt to capitalize on that and the success of their other franchise, Power Rangers. For this show, they took footage from three different Metal Heroes tokusatsu shows, Superhuman Machine Metalader, Dimensional Warrior Spielbahn, and Space Sheriff Scheider. They unfortunately had to cancel it after two seasons despite its success due to exhausting all the special effects and fighting footage. Now, kids aren't dumb. You gotta understand that. You know, they would have noticed repeating footage. But with a bunch of uh, stuff blowing up, I'm pretty sure who would have cared as a kid, you know? Mass Rider. Mass Rider. Mass Rider. Mass Rider was actually American 90s Kid's first introduction to anything Kamen Rider related as it was an adaptation of the Kamen Rider Black RX Japanese series, the ninth series in the Tokusatsu superhero franchise. Now the story of Mass Rider is similar to that of Superman's origin story. You know, only the hero of Mass Rider lands on Earth as a teenager with a weird oversized Furby friend named Furbus. So yeah, they, they didn't even hide the fact that they were mocking Furbies. Now while it only ran for two seasons, Mass Rider left a lasting impact on the whole American adaptation of tokusatsu shows. <laughs> An honorable mention has to go to Mystic Knights of Tiernanog. This was Saban Entertainment's first attempt at filming their very own special effects for an original series that wasn't an adaptation of a pre-existing tokusatsu series. It was loosely based on Irish mythology and actually filmed in Ireland. So it was a very nice change of pace. Like Game of Thrones light, you might even call it. Maybe not. So that was a little throwback to some of the Japanese tokusatsu shows that made their way over here to America, adapted for a U.S. audience. Now, I definitely recommend checking out Tokushoutsu if you're feeling nostalgic for any of the older classic tokusatsu programs. Curious to know if you guys remember any of these shows. Which were your favorites? Sound off down below. And for all your streaming recommendations while we're cooped up indoors, Keep it right here on IGN.